slow it down. That's what we're talking about in our weekly climate solution segment, The Big Fix. We have come here to let you know that change is coming, whether you like it or not. Can we turn this around? We have no other option. The only option that we have is to succeed. What we do now and in the next few years will profoundly affect the next few thousand years. The idea of making cities slower or less friendly to cars has been around really since the automobile first arrived on the scene. What better time than now to put ideas into action when nobody is really going anywhere? New York City is closing some streets to vehicles, making room for runners, pedestrians and cyclists. Here's Governor Andrew Cuomo recently. Open streets. People want to walk. They want to go out and get some air. You want a less dense area. Because we got to keep our social distance if we are going out into those open streets. In Bogota, the Colombian capital, the idea of kicking cars off the road isn't new. Since the mid-70s, this is what the city's busiest thoroughfares sound like on Sunday mornings. By the 90s, Bogota was shutting down 75 miles of roadway. Bogotanos call it La Ciclovia, a few hours of heaven for anyone who wants to be in car-free surroundings. With the pandemic, many other cities across the globe are following suit, including Berlin, Mexico City and Sydney. Bikeways and walking tracks are busier than ever as people pound the pavement, breaking the isolation boredom being felt during coronavirus restrictions. A temporary change in unusual times, or maybe, just maybe, the new norm. Milan is thinking long term. The northern Italian city plans to build permanent bike lanes, expand sidewalks and lower speed limits for cars. The idea of making cities more walkable, slower, has long been embraced by a network called Città Slow. That means slow city in Italian. The network spans more than 200 cities in 30 countries. Pier Giorgio Olivetti is the organization's secretary general. He's based in Orvieto, Italy. In Italian, uh, Orvieto means urbs vetus, old town. It is in the, in the top of the hill. It is a castle town. And we adopted a very special project, free multi-level parkings. And uh, we have elevators connecting the parking to the top of the hills. And the railway station of Orvieto is connected directly with the center, uh, with the cable car and the bus. And we have also a lot of uh, possibility for uh, bike sharing, electric or not electric, uh, bike sharing in the, in the town. The mix of this, uh, also the bike lanes and the pedestrian lanes in the town, create easy living area. It's very interesting for the present and for the future of this town. So we're focused on climate change solutions in the big fix. Why is slower better when it comes to the environment? All of us are committed to find climate change solution. No, uh, slow down era has come. It's not a choice. It's a, an obligation for all uh, earthling to be slow because we have to consume less, to recycle, to reuse. Mm, and do you and, think COVID-19 has really underscored that? You said, you know, we're already here. Every day, many more people open their eyes. Cheetah's law is not a religion, no? It's a more simply a practical way, practical way to moderate, to solve some problems or many problems. And we propose a sort of uh, solutions hub, no? But we are all committed all together in many, many sectors to not forget the past, use the best of the past to put in many things and exchange the best practices. We imagine a future in which uh, the little towns are more attractive than uh, to the big cities. Uh, one uh, uh, very practical approach was resilience, not only to survive, but to improve when the external conditions are uh, changing for external uh, reasons, for example, the virus. Pier Giorgio Olivetti with the Cita Slow Network. He's based in Orvieto, Italy. Thank you very much. Good to speak with you. Thank you so much.